So does anything look different? Hello. Went yesterday to get a haircut. The guy I usually go to wasn't there, so I went to somebody else and I said, take an inch off the top and trim the sides. And I think she interpreted it as leave one inch. Hello. This is short, but at least it'll grow. Hey guys, it's Kevin from Kevin is Cooking. Thanks for showing up. And whether in this kitchen or out on the grill, you're gonna find tasty comfort food meals inspired by my international pantry. Today we're gonna to be working with these little beauties, Brussels sprouts. Now years ago, I really didn't care for them because I remember them from my grandmother that cooked vegetables until they were dead and gray. But Brussels sprouts are wonderful and we're going to be roasting them today and i'm going to give you a little tip that um, i think is what's key to this being one of the most viewed recipes on my site let's do it so what we have here is the brussels sprouts about a pound and a half and we're going to trim take off the um, outer kind of dead leaves because we don't want those and we're going to trim off the bottoms and then slice them lengthwise in half and then we're going to put them in the bowl Toss them with um, olive oil, salt and pepper, and then they get roasted. All right, let's start. Now that we have them cut, we're gonna toss them with olive oil, about two tablespoons. And the best part about these is they're roasted and they get crunchy. But Brussels sprouts, you could have them shaved in salads, steamed, uh, pan fried, baked inside other um, casserole dishes, etc. They're very versatile, they're very good, very healthy, but roasted to me is the best. And with um, just some simple olive oil, salt and pepper, You roast them, they caramelize on their own a little bit and get crispy. And then, like I told you earlier, I think the secret to how this one has been such a big hit on my site is because it really is not only simple, but you're roasting the Brussels sprouts first. And when they're done, then you toss them in the balsamic vinegar and the honey. That way they don't get too wet and they get too soggy, but they're crispy, they're sweet, they're tangy, they're just amazing. Truth be told, this is viewed on my site between four and 500,000 times a month. I'm so, so grateful. I'm so glad that so many of you enjoy this recipe and I hope this becomes a favorite of yours too. Needless to say, let's get this on a baking sheet, lined with foil, and in the oven to bake. That's it for today guys. I hope you enjoyed my honey balsamic roasted Brussels sprouts. They're a perfect side dish for any occasion. And don't forget, life's too short to be bland. See you next time. Any takers on doing dishes? I wash, you dry, anybody?